I just, it took me a while to realize that he is gone. And um, I must admit, I still have got a picture of Stuart on my bedside, uh, which whenever his birthday is or there is a flower next to it. Tell me you are mine. I think Stuart was a very, very special person. He had great gifts and he had great uh, ways to express himself. And I'm sad that there is hardly a piece of film, hardly anything to show what this person was like. Love me true, all my dreams. Stuart is my life and uh, my youth, and I have never met a man like that before, and I will not. To meet this outstanding person was a blessing for me. Well, do stay with us for the legendary piece of anarchic cinematic mockumentary following a day in the life of John Paul, George and Ringo at the height of their fame. A Hard Day's Night is next. In 1908, the creator of Sherlock Holmes took on a real-life murder mystery. She had been savagely beaten about the head and upper body. They kept contradicting each other. I mean, there was a disparity in the evidence here. Conan Doyle for the defence, part of Conan Doyle Week, coming soon on BBC Four. It's the most wonderful time yeah. of the No, they're here, they're right here. Well, BBC Four want me to deliver their Christmas message. I want some kind of a thing. What? Did they leave clips? Have you got clips? Show us your clips, come on. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. It's very um, Christmassy. They've got they've got animals. They've got people dressed up as animals. Murder, spontaneous combustion. Richard E. Grant. Is there supposed to be a theme here? Leave right now. If you could just get right out of here and leave me. I've got my cards to do. Have you an idea how many friends I've got? Get right out of here. Season's greeting. A snapshot of mid-60s Beatlemania now on BBC4 with a wildly energetic dash through a day in the life of the Fab Four. The first Beatles film blazing the pop rock movie trail. A hard day's night. It's been a hard I'm 